This is Prashant, and I'm happy to continue this video series I started recently, Nanda Yoga for Total Liberation. Um, this is the first part. Previously, I gave an introduction as to what it was or what it is, um, which is a simple approach to realize your real nature, rediscover your real nature, and abide there through music. So it's, it's especially suitable for musicians or anyone who loves music, so I think most people fall into that category that I know. I happen to be a musician, so this is just a natural way for me to share uh, my experience with you. Uh, so in the previous video I mentioned there are three major steps that you can take to retrace um, the beauty of sound and music back to its source, which is yourself. So today I want to talk about the first step, um, which is really automatic. So um, there's nothing new that I'm really offering here, but maybe it's something fresh, um, something that might be missing when you listen to music or when you practice music. So the first step really is hearing the sound and uh, enjoying it, just enjoying the sound for what it is. And, um, if you think about when you might have listened to music in the past, um, how when you hear your favorite song or you hear a song that you heard when you were a kid, um, how it brings back memories and it brings back feelings from a deep, deep place. Um, similar to how maybe tasting <clears throat> your mother's cooking or, uh, you know, the smell of a eucalyptus tree or something might bring you back. So music has that ability to go deep, deep into your consciousness and um, awaken something. So the fact that you can enjoy it, that enjoyment is a big part of music, I think is what is going to make it very powerful for a lot of people. So what is this first step enjoyment? As soon as you hear the sound, you'll notice there's a union with that sound. So, simply by focusing and listening to that, there's a very valuable thing that takes place, which is that 
you're immediately now in the present moment. Whereas before, you might have been thinking about something in the past, something in the future. So listening to the sound that's produced by yourself or by, um, if you play an instrument, or by listening to a recording or somebody else playing music, or even just the sounds of traffic moving around. You're immediately, as soon as you notice that, you're immediately brought to the present moment. So that's the first step. The second step is to dissolve into that sound. So I'm going to go into further detail on that later. But if you can immediately dissolve into the sound, definitely do that. But what you might notice when you actually try to do this is that you may have thoughts that want to take you away from this present moment. So when I emphasize enjoying the sound, what I'm saying is, is, is just be with that sound and don't leave and go somewhere else with the mind. So just enjoy that sound and uh, let that sound and the enjoyment of that completely take over your experience. Um, the beauty of it, if you're listening to something unpleasant, perhaps maybe the unpleasantness of it. So there's another dimension to it as well, which is um, letting things just be what they are. Um, you know, perhaps you're on listening to the radio and something, a song you don't like comes on the radio. So can you be with that for a moment? Can you, or an artist you don't like? Or if, you, if you're a musician, somebody, some other artist you're not a fan of. <laughs> so uh, can you be with that and just uh, see that that's actually um, part of this present moment, just relax there? So this is really what the first step of enjoyment is about, is actually bringing yourself and establishing yourself in the present moment. And that's sort of like the window or the door into your back into your pure being, so you're kind of retracing your steps back through sound. And this is incredibly powerful because um, throughout the day as you're um, lost in thoughts, uh, you're not experiencing perhaps um, the freedom and the peace that you already have. So the first step is, it, again, to just enjoy that sound. And this can be done by anybody. Um, it can be done by a musician who's practicing, or it can be done by somebody who just likes music. Now, the, the next aspect of this is what I would like to, which will get deeper as you go to the next one, is spontaneity, uh, which is that the sound is arising by itself. So when you're enjoying the sound, what, which is now the transition into the next step, which is dissolving, is to notice that the sound is actually happening or it's arising by itself. It's not caused by anything. It's not caused by you and it's not caused by something else out there. So as you transition, as you enjoy it, and it, becomes, it starts to fill up every cell of your awareness and it starts to uh, totally take over and wash over you, you start to notice that um, this is happening by itself. There's nobody doing it, and there's no thing that's causing it. And so as you go deeper into that feeling, you will then transition into what I like to call dissolving into that sound. And when you dissolve, that is when you'll begin to experience a deeper enjoyment and a bliss. And that is when time and space and all of the restrictions of uh, the experience you may have had with the mind fall away and um, you begin to taste that. And it's, that's why people go to music concerts, that's why people love music um, because it takes you into that space. But here we're going to investigate deeper what that really is and um, how that can take you to your real self uh, and uh, be free, be happy. So it's really simple. Um, if you like, you can practice this technique with any of uh, the videos I've posted recently, the meditation videos. Um, and 
that may help. Or any music you like. So perhaps even some music or sounds that you don't like. like. Maybe you live in a place where the lawnmower starts at 6.30 a.m. or <laughs> somebody's a you know, big garbage truck comes and makes all kinds of noise <laughs> by your house. So these are all opportunities to um, engage with that um, present moment that we've been talking about. So thank you very much for listening. I'm, I'm really happy to, to be able to share this with you.